Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another short video on to show folks what it looks like uh, when a meter spins backwards. Right now I'm, I'm pushing about uh, just over 400 watts and I'm going to pause the video and show the meter. Now hopefully hopefully you can see this. Uh, you can see right at the right there you see that black mark and while it's my, my while my uh, uh, inverters are going you can see it it's actually going backwards in a minute it'll start going forwards again and while when that other inverter uh, turns off but anyway that's what it looks like uh, when your meter is actually spinning backwards you can actually see it uh, again look at the black mark and um, you know what does that mean that means power is going back to the grid and um, and so again my meter is turning backwards so uh, that means I am not consuming any uh, in any exit, I mean, my home, my home uh, electronics is not consuming, uh, you know, excess power. It's actually going back to the grid. So that's what that means. Okay, and it's about 12 o'clock right now, or a little just a, just after 12 or something like that. But anyway, that's what it looks like when your meter spins backwards. Okay, take care, YouTube. Hello again, YouTube. I, I thought that I would just uh, make a, some more explanations here. I'm using a new uh, metering uh, measurement tool called InPower. It's like similar to the watt meter, but um, it actually you know, kind of stays on so that I can uh, get a total of the watts that I produce. This right here lets me know, and I started running this today, so as of today, right now, um, with my system, I've already generated 1.3 kilowatts of power, and it's at 12.14. It's uh, 1.31 kilowatts of power right now. Um, just kind of take a look at it. I'm generating. That's 448 watts going back into the house, and it's 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 noon, and so cumulatively I've generated as of today 1.3 uh, kilowatts of power. Now, uh, in an earlier video, um, you know uh, I showed you my meter going backwards, but let's kind of put that in perspective, okay? Right now, my house is cool, so my HVAC is not running. Um, also, I have this, you know, this uh, um, gray box water heater timer. Uh, it's called a little gray box, and it's turned off. Why? Because I don't need the hot water turned on generally during the day. It's only during certain times that I need to need it on. So my big heavy hitters, uh, heavy users like stoves, HVAC, and hot water heater is not turned on. Also, you know, bear in mind, I've also turned off unnecessary electronics or lighting and stuff like that. Like, I'm not in there using my computer, so obviously it's not turned on. Uh, I'm not watching TV, so, you know, I don't need it turned on. Um, so I've turned off a uh, little, what they call vampiric or vampire loads. And so, you know, that's why my meter is spinning backwards, because... I'm not really using, I'm conserving energy because I'm not in there. Um, you know, my, you know, my again, my home is cool and, and my AC unit is set automatically with an automatic uh, timer and so forth. Uh, but, you know, I take steps, you know, to keep my home cool so I don't need to turn on, um, you know, the HVAC unnecessarily. Also, you know, my refrigerator is running and my freezer is running. so. The real heavy consumers are just, you know, maybe some uh, electric clocks, um, some TVs that are in standby mode in my freezer and uh, refrigerator. So that's why I can say, well, gee, my meter is spinning backwards because in conjunction with conservation efforts, you know, your own little home conservation efforts, yes, you will or theoretically you should be able to save money. Again, it's only 12 o'clock, uh, 12, 16 p.m., and I've already generated... 1.32, um, or this is 1.3 kilowatts of power already, and that's you know that's nothing to sneeze at. That's actually pretty good, um, you know. So and and you can see that it's steady, it's steadily climbing. So uh, I'm just anxious to see you know by the end of the day uh, how much power that I, I generated, uh, but I'm pretty excited about it. But I just wanted to add this video YouTube just to kind of put things in perspective. Um, you know about saving money. It's it's a it's a you know it's a it's an effort. Okay, it meaning you got to do more than just throw a couple of solar panels on your roof or, or in your yard, and and, and you know a grid tie inverter. I mean that's part of it. The other part is doing your your part to conserve energy uh, by turning off unnecessary things. 
Um, and that way you can truly save money. Okay, take care YouTube. Thanks for watching.